What's going on, YouTube? Moose78 back at you with another episode of Stories from the Road. We are in episode number 12. Hope everyone's doing well today, by the way. And just real quick, what the series is, it's my Let's Play series. I just commentate about the end game stuff that's going on and also have a little side discussion. Last couple episodes, we talked a little bit about what's going on in the gaming industry, some new uh, games that were coming out, Battlefield 1, COD Infinite Warfare, talked a little bit about The Division getting patched and updated, talked a little bit of tech news with the new NVIDIA cards dropping here soon. And we, of course, are uh, continuing our trip to Bakersfield delivering our wall bash full of sawdust panels or plywood panels. And we are just about to the destination. Just don't, don't do it, don't do it. Lay it safe. I'm stuck on this damn speed bump. Excellent. Let's check the freight market here in Bakersfield, see what we got. Looks like there's quite a bit, actually. Wabash. We will go see that expires in four hours and 27 minutes. We should have more than enough time to go pick that up. 
grab another wall bash. Room to clear all those trucks. Not so much. And as we're going down here to pick up our Wabash going to this new town. Gotta throw out this week's uh, topic. And if there's ever a topic you guys want me to discuss or you guys just want to discuss, just leave a comment down below. I uh, love hearing from you guys. Uh, today's topic actually comes from uh, one of the community members. And that's uh, the topic of mod. And specifically, are mods needed? And if so, why? Me, personally, I love having mods in my game. It just adds a little bit of variety and kind of you can kind of give your own personal touch and feel to the game. You know, take the trucks, for example. You can take the vanilla or the base truck, and you can add pretty much whatever, you know, if you're skilled in Zmod or uh, Blender, you can add pretty much whatever you want to to any of the trucks in-game. Give it your own, you know, personal touch, your own look, your own style, just kind of whatever. shite. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We are picking up at a McDonald's. What else? But no, you can add, you know, kind of whatever parts you want to. You can customize the paint job. Just kind of whatever, you know, you can imagine. As long as you have a, you know, kind of a general understanding of some of the modeling programs that are out there, you can really personalize the truck to your own likes and desires. And to me, that adds quite a bit to the game. Keeps it fresh. You know, you can mod one truck. You can run it for a week. You can run it for a month. You can run it for however long you want to. You get bored of that truck. And then you can, you know, come up with another one. So in that regard, it just kind of keeps kind of keeps the game fresh. Lost the trailer there for a second. And the same thing can be uh, you know said for trailers. You know, like you know the wall bash here. You can add that into game. You can customize it you know, however you want to. You can add your own custom cargoes. You know, if you're pulling flatbeds, you can add custom flatbed loads. You know, like a lot of the stuff that I have, you know, in my game right now, I have all sorts of map mods that adds new roads, new cities, new companies to pick up at.
it just kind of keeps the game really fresh and kind of makes me want to come back and keep playing it to, you know, experience these mods and all the updates to them and things like that. So for me personally, it, you know, really enriches the experience and helps the replay value out quite a bit. That was close. I mean, take a look at Holland, for example. I know I referenced that game quite a bit. But, you know, that game's been out, what, eight, ten years? And if not for mods, you know, that game would have died off, I would think, pretty quickly. But with the ability to mod the game, kept that game around for the better part of a decade. I mean, you still got people playing to this day, still messing around with it and whatnot. So for me personally, and this does not, you know, apply to everyone... But, you know, mods are a must for me. You know, like I said, it just helps the replayability. Helps keep the game fresh, kind of new. You know, you like the, you know, back to the trucks. You get tired of driving a truck, you just, you know, make a new one up and drive that. So you get tired of that and just, you know, repeat that process. Same thing with the trailers, you know, once we get trailer ownership, that's going to be nice because you can have your own custom combos and things like that. And that's one of the really great things about SES is they give us pretty much free reign on whatever we want to do with this game. They give us a map editor to, you know, create our own world which is pretty awesome. Again, going back to Holland, without stuff like that, we would never have the Cali map, which I've said numerous times before, that was the greatest mod for Holland, hands down. my gear completely. Shenanigans. Good lord. Learn to play the game, you freaking scrub. I don't know. I'm curious to uh, hear your guys' opinion on the topic. Do you guys have to have mods in your game? If so, what are some, uh, some of your favorite mods? Leave a comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. But just to uh, kind of expand on the topic just a little bit more, that's one of the things I like most about PC gaming is the ability to mod some of the games that uh, I play. Whether it be, you know, American Truck Sim, Holland, whatever, but also some other games to where you can put stuff in like uh, sweet effects, things like that, that just kind of enhance the game just a little bit more than just the uh, stock vanilla version. Just kind of helps add, add to the experience, kind of keeps it fresh, keeps it new. But there's, you know, so much you can do with this game and, you know, just this series with mods. You can create your own, you know, your own world, your own roads, cities, towns, companies, just whatever you can imagine. You, 
you know, if you have the resources and the time, the patience and the ability to do so, you could pretty much create whatever you can think of in this game, which is pretty cool. Assuming this is one of the new roads on the map pro map. So I don't recall being on this before, but this is this is pretty nice. And this is, you know, kind of what I was going back to. This just adds to the experience. Keeps the game fresh. At least for me, it keeps the replay, you know, level up pretty high. Because I love just exploring new parts of these mods and things like that, especially these map mods. Just want to explore new territory and you know things like that. Placerville, Plackerville. on one of the exits here and get a little bit of fuel get down below half don't want to get straightened out here in the middle of the night dark it's scurry but as we're going along here I just hope you guys are enjoying this series I know I've uh, I've actually had a lot of fun doing this and I've got away from uh, kind of coming up with a script and reading off of that. I'm actually kind of sitting down doing kind of live commentary on these now. So that's been a lot of fun. Kind of getting the hang of a little bit more. Kind of feels a little bit more natural. But uh, no, I just hope you guys really enjoy you know, the content that I'm producing. Okay, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. 
Dad Gummit. Thought I was downshifting and instead I, you know, grabbed a gear. Gotta stop doing that. Thought I was gonna plow through everyone there, but luckily didn't hit anyone. The worst thing that happened was I killed it. But it seems like we're getting a pretty cool little community going over here, so hopefully we can keep growing that. Hopefully you guys keep coming back and checking everything out. And hopefully some, some one of these days, hopefully I stop killing the truck at lights. Good grief, this is why we can't have nice things, guys, and I apologize. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Be sure to tune in next time for another episode of Stories from the Road as we continue our trip up to Plackerville. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, thanks for supporting. I really appreciate it, guys. And if you like today's video, just go ahead and give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch. And if you're new to the channel, take a look around. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. Until the next one, guys, take care. We'll be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.